Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can publish your first article in a Scopus Index Journal first. And also, I'm going to show you some easy techniques for the beginner's researcher to publish your research article from your thesis, from your master's or any other PhD dissertation quickly. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, as you can see, winter is here and we are going to see the end of this year. So advance Happy New Year to all of my viewers and my followers. It, it has been a very good journey. So let us talk about the journals and techniques. Normally, we have seen that as a beginner researchers, for example, who are now working their master's thesis or PhD thesis, they might want to publish their first article in a Scopus Index Journal. But top rated Scopus Index Journal does not always allow us to publish very quickly. It takes time. Sometimes it takes several months, six months, seven months or a year. And that is a big problem for a new researcher. So this is a very difficult time for the researcher who wants to publish their research article quickly. There are several avenues where you can publish. However, in my opinion, there, are a, there is a fantastic technique where you can submit your article and get publication quickly. The technique is there are several journals in Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand. They have the university-based journals. And these university-based journals, they quickly publish your articles. And they are also Scopus Index. So, University-based journal is a very good platform for the beginner's researcher to publish quickly. So let's see what are those university-based journals in Malaysia, Australia and New Zealand. Let us first talk about the UTM journal, University Technology Malaysia. In this journal, as you can see here that, there are several lists of these journals and one of these journals is called the Journal of Technology, Science and Engineering. As you can see, this is an emerging source citation and a Scopus index. So you can go to this website and easily you can submit your article if you are following in the engineering domain. Then again, you can go to the Asian Engineering Journal. Also, it has a Scopus index and you can submit there as well. Likewise, Malaysian Journal of Fundamental Applied Sciences, Scopus Index. And likewise, there are several journals. There are MySite Index, Scopus Index in this particular website. I will share all those website links where you can easily submit your articles and get publication quickly. Normally, in my experience, I have seen that after your submission, it, it takes one month time to get the review and then two to three months time to get the publication. Uh, online and this is a very quick because normally in other particular journals if you are submitting in Scopus like Elsevier, uh, Sage, Taylor and Francis those publications takes a lot of time but in this particular university journals they always trying to publish quickly because this is an avenue for the masters and PhD students who are early researchers. They want to encourage them and get their publication quickly in their platform because these journals wants to rank as well. So that is a good opportunity for the new researcher to submit their publication in these particular journals. So in this journal list, you can see the UTM has several journals and every journal has sometimes Scopus or Asian Citation Index or Emerging Source Citation Index. You can see over here. Emerging Source Citation Index is under the Thomson and Reuters, which, which means the Web of Science Index. So you can submit here as well. Another journal from USM, University Science Malaysia, there is a journal called Asian Academy of Management Journal. I have, I have several publications in this particular journal and I have seen that they are very quick in publication. It, you don't have to pay a single money for these journals. The journals that I'm showing, you do not have to pay anything. Yet again, you can publish very quickly under a Scopus Index journal. 
So you can see here that this is a Scopus index and this is a multidisciplinary journal. So all the management and other particular domain you can submit over here. For instance, human resource, corporate governance, technology management, entrepreneurship, economics and other related to management journals. There is another journal from University of Queensland where I graduated in my PhD. I have done my PhD from here and they have a key database of the journals. For example, SCG journals, ICA virtual library journals, key journals like coastal engineering, fire safety journal, journal of hydrology, journal of structural engineering. All those journals are there under UQ. UQ has also business school and they have their own journals as well. So you can go to the University of South, University of Queensland website and find the journals under the research domain. Then again, there is another journal under UPM, University Putra, Malaysia, where you can see Journal of Science and Technology. This is also Elsevier Scopus Index. You can submit your early research in this particular avenue where you can get publication very quickly. There is another journal called the Journal of Social Sciences and Humanities. Those who are the background of English and literature, anthropology, psychology, they can easily submit their, pub, uh, their research in these particular journals. And they have a very quick publication turnout. And in my opinion, this is a good opportunity for the early researcher to explore this avenue and submit their articles to get publication under the Scopus Index without paying a single penny. How wonderful is that, right? Then we can go and see that these journals also have, you can go to the indexing and you can find out there are several indexing over here and very good indexing. And in my opinion, these journals are a good platform because the indexings are very good. Now we can go to the University of Auckland in New Zealand and they have also few journals like University of Auckland Business School ERPS e-journal and you can submit your publication if you're under the business management particular from that domain. University of Auckland has several publications. All you have to do, all you have to do, go to the University of Auckland and search the journals that you require. You can have a search box here, like review of economics, political science, and all those things. Then again, there is another journal called the Malaysian Journal of Nursing. And uh, those students who are from the nursing background. They can always submit here as well. University of Southern Queensland, University of uh, Queensland, they have their nursing journals as well. So you can submit your nursing related article or paper in this particular avenue. And these journals also have a good indexing. You can see here that the indexings are good. Like for instance, it has the Emerging Source Citation Index. It has also a few other indexing like uh, ASEAN Citation Index. These are also very good indexing. Then there is another journal, Southeast Asian Review of English. From the English literature background, those who are English uh, literature or linguistic background, they can also able to submit Southeast Asian Review of English journal. And this is also one of the Malaysian journal where you can submit your publication very quickly. This is under University of Malaya, one of the top, top university in Malaysia. They have their own journal, Southeast Asian Review of English. So early researcher can easily submit their journal, their pub publication, their articles in this particular journal. Make the submission and quickly get publication very quickly. Finally, one of the other journal from University Science Malaysia, International Journal of Asia Pacific Studies. This is also a multidisciplinary journal and you can see this in a Scopus Web of Science Index. And if you go there, scope of the journal, you will find out that there are several avenues we can go. For example, uh, it encompasses politics, history, indigenous languages, literature, uh, environment, ethno-history, anthropology, cultural heritage, social issues, economic development, war and conflict, and many other more. So you can easily submit in this university-based journal, University Science Malaysia from Malaysia. And this is also a Scopus Index. I have also a publication here. You can search my name. You'll find my name in this particular journal because I already published here. And it takes me, uh, I think, three to four months time to get the publication. And for a Scopus Index journal, for a good Scopus Index journal, usually it takes three to four months to get the publication. I don't recommend you to publish quickly with by paying in a predatory journal because as you are an early researcher that will ruin your career 
and I want you to publish in a good particular journal where you can get publication quickly and also under a Scopus index. These journals that I have shared, these are the very good avenue for an early researcher to start your publication. If you are a master's student or a PhD student, your first publication can be possible by submitting your article to these particular journals. Another, another, there are other journals you can submit from England, from Malaysia, from uh, Australia or also Canada. Just you have to go to their particular university website, find the journals. If it is under Scopus or Web, Web of Science, submit there and I'm sure they will publish it very quickly because university journals are ready to support the students all over the world. And that is a very good technique to get your publication very quickly. So with that note, advance Happy New Year, Merry Christmas and I wish you all the best. I will see you in the next year and hope for the best for your publications. Thank you my dear learners. I will see you in the next tutorial in next year. Bye bye.